waiting, waiting, waiting. What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com. Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. So we interrupt your regularly scheduled species Sunday to bring you a leaking aquarium. I was out here in the greenhouse uh, frolicking by myself, full frolic mode on a Friday, um, and having an absolute blast. We just got done uh, doing this system here, and everything was like jacked up. I mean, the, the feng shui of the greenhouse was all messed up. There was pipes everywhere. I mean, there's just bags of crap and just... Just, it was a mess, right? So I took my time and I took everything out and I literally, like a freaking, like, like I don't know, like a, like a maid, I was in here and I was scrubbing, like you can actually see the floor of the greenhouse now. I don't know if you guys, I'll show you this here. You can actually like see the floor of the greenhouse all cleaned up. So I'm going, I got the system set up. I got, this one was the beta test. This one's over here and I got them all plumbed up and this one 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 and this one, all seven of them, which I'm pumped about. Sorry for yelling into the mic. And uh, I'm jacked about it, right? So I get everything done. I'm doing like the first test. I'm still screwing with the, uh, the pipes right here of like how I can get the pipes all lined up. But I mean, that's pretty sick. Now, honestly, it's dripping off a little bit too much, but ultimately this is the design. Uh, some people would say that I would go through the bottom or whatever. We'll get into that in Q&A towards the end here. Um, but this is what I got set up. So I'm super pumped, right? Like I've got this upper, I mean, check this out. Like this has like this upper stream like that, boom, all the way across. Uh, if I want to do a big water change, I just pull this out. I'm going to do this real quick just so you can see. So if I just want to do a water change on just this one only, I just go pow and I pull that out. And then I put a hose on there and I put it down in that drain and it drains just this tank. So it's perfect. I can take that down. I get that. So anyway, so I got this all going. It's all flowing. I'm like, got the hell with it. I'm going to sweep the floor. Like I sweep the floor, get around here. I get it all cleaned up. And then I come out here at night, or excuse me, I come out here this morning and I see this. Look at this. Freaking 40 breeder leaking in this mofo. Like check that out. Look at that. Just leaking, and I like, the first thing I thought was like, oh man, that's just the, hopefully it's just the pump. So I checked this, you know, I was like, well maybe this is leaking, because I was praying that this was leaking, because this thing is older than most of the people watching this video. So I was like, well, hopefully that's leaking. That's not the case, this is leaking. So we're in trouble there, but we're, all we're gonna do is simple, we're just gonna take it out, we're gonna get it going, we're gonna swap this around to me. So I gotta take down a 40, just when I get everything, like just when I get everything settled, in the greenhouse right like isn't that like the feng shui right like you get everything all hooked up you get everything nice you're like frolicking like i'm straight up like just barefoot like loving it in there and then what happens tank breaks leaks and is all over the place so um i'm lucky it's actually not in the home so like most of you this would happen your wife girlfriend brother mother sister parents would kill you i'm out here in the greenhouse i gotta take a 40 breeder down I do have something, I want to give a shout out uh, to N. Tobias. Uh, I do fish tanks, right? Somebody emailed me and was like, hey, uh, my girlfriend cheated on me, what's the adult thing to do? Uh, I told them to go buy some fish and then drink heavily and hook up with anything that walks. And um, that was my advice. But coincidentally, that cheating girlfriend um, reminds me of something with aquariums which I would like to bring up and I have pointed out before, and that is this. In my humble opinion, when you reseal a tank, it is like a girlfriend that cheats on you. You can never trust her again, okay? I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying, like, in my humble opinion, if you're resealing a tank, it's like a girlfriend that you find out cheats on you. You can never trust her again. So, words of wisdom, I'm going to have Josh reseal this. I'm out here in the greenhouse. I hope that it uh, will certainly be fine again, but that's what's up. In other brighter, lighter news, it is Sunday. It is Species Sunday, so I'd like to bring it to you all and show you all what I've got going on with the live bears. I did a video on it last week that I really, tr uh, yeah, really, truly enjoyed sharing my entire collection. I had them all laid out here. You can click the links around. Those of you following me on Instagram or Facebook, you can click the links in the description. They'll be there. Um, can see kind of how I'm showing off the live bears because I come out here at night because it's a little easier to see them because I got the lights on them. I had one of the white ones that was real, I'll pick you guys up here, come with me. Uh, one of them was really, really, uh, really, really pregnant, like super duper white pregnant. And uh, the white one was pregnant. And then I have, where is the food? I left the food over here, I want to bring them out. 
So, one of them was super duper pregnant, and I said, okay, she's super pregnant. I knew she was about to pop, so I had them in here. I'm gonna have to switch the camera around for this. You guys liking this? Cool. So, oh, oh, mic's down. I'm around, here we go. Um, I got this new like tripod thing, it's actually really dope. So, all right, so there is the dad right there, the white one in the back there, you can see him. I'm gonna bring them forward here with a little bit of food. So, he used to be in here. So, they used to be, all right, there. so there's the big mama in the back. So there's the liar tail. And then, I tried to pull the shade cloth on. All right, so there's the there's the liar tail. There's the Showa, okay? We talked about those last week. Click the link to check those out. And then in the back there is the mom, okay? So there's the mom, there's the dad. Now, they used to be over here. Now, step one in my book, when you get uh, like babies, is you immediately remove anything that's going to eat them, okay? We got, we got fish screwing, we got girlfriends cheating on them, we got leaking tanks, this video's got everything for you guys. So, all right, so there's the mom. Now look, she's not as pregnant. If you're following me on Instagram or Facebook, you can see I've got pregnant shots of her. So she's no longer pregnant, she's dumped her eggs. Now, all right, look really, really, really closely in the middle there. Can you see that little guy right and smack in the middle there? That is one of the babies, okay? See that, we are lucking out, folks, because I didn't think there was a snowball's chance in hell we were gonna be able to catch that on camera. See that one right in the middle? That is a new little baby. Now look, see how that big one's chasing it around? What I did is I added a ridiculous amount of java moss. And I wanna show you how I'm rolling with the java moss over here. So java moss over here, I take the java moss. This is actually, I don't know what I'm gonna pull out here. It might be fisted ends, might be java moss, but. All right, so I take this, and this is what I use. It's a natural protection, and I put this stuff in there with it. So that's how we roll with the java moss. And I take this moss, and I set it down in here now, the babies are all hiding in the bottom. This is actually, that might even be Christmas moss. Check that out. Uh, the, the babies are all hiding underneath there. So now I've got the parents removed. The parents are over there. They're doing whatever they got to do. And then um, they're like, you know, hanging out with them. Now that's screwing up. I was trying to breed the Showa and the liar tail or the liar tail and the other liar tail, but whatever. I moved them over. And then now they're all down in here. So now I've got a bunch of babies in here that I am super duper stoked about. Let's talk about the system here. I've got the system hooked up. This one, these tanks were already drilled here, here. Uh, they were drilled up high. I like them being drilled lower. And then I decided that this was the way we were gonna go. So we ran the pipe over here. And then now we've got this upper system like this. You have one T, two T's, three T's, four T's, five, and then this one over there. Uh, this one is actually a 10. This will be replaced once I'm done with the ShamWow video. So I wanted to show how that was rolling there and I'm gonna have to plug in. But yeah, a pretty slick setup. I am gonna take these and probably run them to the back because it is a little cumbersome like trying to reach in here to get plants out, but whatever. Overall, it's a pretty good system. Got a little bit of water on the floor, so whatever. So I'm gonna take these, run them back this way a little bit, and then down and then back out. But this tank still gets natural daylight and then I have my man Josh mount a halide underneath there. So that's what's up. I wanna show you guys some other uh, the quick, the black, the big hamburger black real quick if he's out. See him in there? That big guy, he's great. So let's do a little bit of Q&A with you all, shall we? Swap this around, plug in, and talk to my fish tank people. Anybody enjoying this? Hello, how are you? Good to see you, nice to know you. Can I get some questions from you? Anybody learn anything? Lesson one. Broken tanks, leaking tanks, reseals like girlfriends that cheat on you, you never trust them again. Cool? All right. What else you got, folks? Bring me some questions. Let's do it. I got some time. I got some coffee. Happy haircut. You like it? I made D take it. Leave it a little longer on top, though. Editing the ShamWild video is getting tough. I got to uh, I gotta get like the, the length right so it doesn't look stupid. The neons are dying. Help. Check your carbonate hardness. Do a water change. They generally like that. Do small water changes. The neons are a little more sensitive. What else you got, folks? Let's go. I got time for Q&A, baby. Let's do it. Species Sunday, Leekus Tankus. Leekus Tankus. It's a great idea. Looking good. Cool. With summer temps, how hot does it get in the greenhouse? Um, the current temperature of the greenhouse, uh, it gets hot, but I have a full 60, I have a 60% shade cloth that I have right there, you can see. But it, uh, I did a video on this. But uh, I pull it all the way over and then I have it ventilated on the roof like that. So I open those vents. I would like to have actually more vents, but whatever. Um, somebody's asking me about garamis. I need to keep garamis. 
And I have an idea for a series. What do you guys think about this? I could do a series where I do week one, a 10 gallon, week two. Um, let me back up on this. I'm gonna get wax poetic for you. Um, one of the things I was thinking about is like, I do projects like this, which are cool and whatever. And if you've got uh, like a lot of space and you run in a fish room or something like they're fine. But the average Joe hobbyist uh, may or may not be able to actually like utilize something like that you know it's kind of like out of the reach of people so what I'm thinking about doing and I'd love to get your opinion on this is and please leave me a comment on it is going each week and like this is out here the, you know skank tanks whatever uh, I want to get back to the roots and the core I'm thinking about doing this I'm thinking about like doing a series where week one I would set up a 10 gallon and then week two I'd set up a 20 gallon week three I'd set up a 30 gallon uh, week four, I'd set up a 40 gallon. Week five, I'd set up like a 55 gallon, something like that. And then I could have those set up. Uh, it'd be tough to move them around. Josh would hate my guts, but then I could like show the evolution of them. So like this week, I'm setting up a 20, and then we'll show you the update on the 10. People could learn from that. I think that'd be helpful because I realize that some of my stuff is like you know not everybody has 720 gallons above a 125. So. That's what I'm thinking. Drop me a comment on that. Let me know. I also really want to get some other fish. I've never kept goramis. Uh, I was thinking about keeping some uh, red-tailed sharks, some cichlids. So just kind of mixing it up. You guys like that idea there? That sounds pretty good. Cool. So we'll go to the Q&A for a little bit here. Uh, I'm, I am loving this. I've got this plugged in. The Wi-Fi seems to be good. And I do have the mic going. So I'm really jacked about how this is working. Naturally, I don't have any water handy. But we're going to keep rolling here. So... Ah, uh, nice idea. Start with smaller than 10 gallon tanks. Ooh, a ten, two gallon. That's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. By the way, I, w I would love to do like a YouTube live of me like half showering out here with like my Irish Spring soap because I literally was just like scrubbing myself the other day after playing with a bunch of Africa plants and cleaning up. So, all right, what we got? You like the series idea? Cool. Drop me a comment uh, on that. Let me know what you want to see in each of them. Uh, Mabuna cichlids, maybe. What kind of silicone do you reseal your tanks? I've never actually resealed a tank. I, uh, I don't trust them. Like cheating girlfriends, I don't trust them. So uh, I, I don't do it, but we're gonna try it out here, whatever. 55 gallon corner new fish ideas. Corner tank, in my humble opinion, you'd wanna use something that'd be taller. Tyler, Ty, if you will. Uh, that would be taller and that would have like less need to be screwing around. So I wouldn't do rainbows. I would do like, angels are the first thing that comes to mind, but that would get kind of overdone. Um, a big school of something though, Ty. Do something like that. Big school, like lots of uh, lots of one type of fish or like two types of fish, but not a whole lot of a different fish. I would do one thing. Hydroponic tank, not a bad idea. As if the DEA isn't watching me enough. Uh, how much flow gallons per hour would you recommend for a 125 dirty tank? All right, well with the dirty tank, you wanna make sure the gravel's capped well first and foremost. I didn't buy enough of these, I need more of these in one inch um, but uh, I would say you know really in that tank I would do 500 gallons per hour that would be the way to re roll it really in my humble opinion that's how I would roll with that Karen what's up with your sister 420 baby what's up Krenum Calamitrata tips for max growth and a high-tech 60 plank yes first and foremost Krenum hate to be moved which is a pain in the butt for me because I'm sitting on I don't know the Krenum Tyanum which are amazing uh, I was supposed to do I have a video coming out later today uh, about Crenum repair, but with the Crenum Calamistratum, the biggest thing is when it has those little like yellow tips, every now and then it gets yellow tips, just snip those. That will help it out immensely. Also, high calcium content, high calcium content. Uh, and then what I've done, and you guys can see that, I've actually, uh, I've, we've actually been low on calcium in our water. So I've been taking this, uh, I've been having Josh, I pay him to break rocks for me. So he's been breaking up cinder blocks. That works really well. So. Let me go back to your questions here, folks. Folks, I enjoy Q&A with you. Let's see here. 20-gallon uh, beta. Okay, we got that. The bank gave us the moolah for the new greenhouse yet. No, we're... You know, the new greenhouse... Uh, Joey thinks it's a bad idea, by the way, me getting a greenhouse. I don't know. I, I'd like to be open like one day a month or whatever. I think that'd be kind of fun. I'd like to meet people... Quite frankly, I, while I love the comments, I feel like I'm kind of like in my own little bubble and I need actual human interaction, not relying on your comments. Not that I don't like your comments, but like, I mean, I feel like I live in a box. So to actually meet people and like shake their hand and stuff would be cool. Uh, would you replace platies with? No, I wouldn't replace platies at all. They're staying. Are you crazy? I'd get garamis. I'd try them out. Do you think a pair of German Blue Rams is suitable for a heavily planted 10-gallon tank? I know they recommend at least 20. I don't. 
I know. I think the German Blue Rams are sensitive. I think a 10-gallon tank, um, it's not butter, oh my God, if you will, if that's your real name. Uh, I think that's too small of a tank. So I would say don't do that. I would say uh, get yourself a 20. And uh, you gotta be sensitive. The German Blue Rams, they are, are a sensitive uh, fish. So I wouldn't roll with that. I think a 10 gallon is too big of swings and you wanna keep the pH a little bit lower for that. I have collected, not German Blue Rams, uh, but I know the general area where they're from and they come with a real low pH and that's hard to maintain. Cool. Uh, give us some likes, FFF. Cool, greeting from Netherlands, what's up? What's up, Neon Tetra? Dusty, would you recommend Malaysian trumpet snails for a dirt tank? Oh, absolutely, dude. No. Uh, yeah, Malaysian trumpet snails all day long. Breeding cherry shrimp is easy. It's easy. You get a big... All you need to breed cherry shrimp, you want to see how to breed cherry shrimp? This is it. Right here. That's all you need. Get that. Do that. Get a 10-gallon ah. tank. Put it Put it right there. Put a bunch of hornwort in it. You're done. That's it. Cherry shrimp breed like mad. I'll lose the microphone. Microphone check uh Ah, uh, let's see here. Greenhouse. They like the idea on the greenhouse. Ah, eh, greenhouse could be pretty cool. It'd be a lot of work though, a lot of overhead. It's not like I'm making, you know, buku bucks doing a whole fish tank gig, but it would be pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Got BBA. All right, let me go back here. Red-tailed shark, cool. Uh, breeding cherries is easy. Would angelfish work in that tank? Yes, Tyler. All day. I just said that. Uh, neons put a sponge in the corner what do you recommend for floating plants I recommend water wisteria um, I'd go get it but water wisteria um, water sprite maybe I got blackbeard allergy on a few of my plants how do I combat it you increase water flow you increase oxygen levels that will help you immensely Dustin how do I rid of corn snails I have a pest anybody liking this can I get a like or a share from you would you mind Tell me out. Give me a little, little psychological advancement with my little, little thumbs up. There's a few. All right. Appreciate it. Uh, how do you... How do I ride? Oh, a rid of ramhorn snails. Uh, assassin snails. That's so, so easy. Assassin snails. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, how do you tell if a rock is aquarium safe? I have never tested a single rock that I put into my aquarium. I've never killed a single thing with rocks in my aquarium. I just throw them in. Uh, unless you're doing something just like totally crazy. Try it. You know, use some fish that you don't really care if they die and, and see how that treats you. What fish would you put in a 20 gallon long? I need to do a video on that, Vlad, but a fish that I would put in a, a 20 gallon long would be, I do, there you go, rams, some pistos, rams, something like that would be nice. Gonna go for a bog eco with 55, recommend some aquatic plants in and out of the water. Ooh, I like this. I really wanna do a tank out of the water. I'm talking to a company about doing a custom a custom aquarium where I could do like a, a shallower tank. I actually thought about replacing the 220, but I'm gonna I'm getting off topic here. Uh, so a bog, I would recommend you would put some definitely some floating plants, and then I would use some uh, some like what are they called? Give me a second, it's coming. I'm not as sharp with the bog plants. Taros for sure. Uh, also the uh, the the umbrella palms would be cool. I need to just do a video. Check out my Rimless Tanks video. You can check that out. Uh, PetSmart fish, always sick. PetSmart, Deathco, whatever you want to do, don't go there. All joking aside, large school of pea puffers in a 30 long, love to see it. Breeding cherry shrimp, I already answered that. Where did you purchase your greenhouse? Greenhousekit.com, tell her Dustin sent you. Uh, and then and then plan on it taking three times as long to do as it did. Does that make sense? Like, plan on it, like, if you're like, hey, I'll build this in like a month, it's gonna take two months. It's gonna take three months here. Can we share this? Uh, how can I put full sun fish? How can I run a tank in full sun? I need to link the video up. Kenny Brown, you know about this, homie. Uh, all you got to do is you got to put it in the shade because plants can take light from the sides and the top. You don't want to put it in full sun. It'll mess everything up. Favorite floating plant, probably wisteria. Have you ever grown aquatic plants from seeds? No. You want to count bulbs? Sure. Uh, how do you treat plecos with ick? Ooh, that's tough. Raise temps. Hope, hope and pray. Ever gotten plants from someone at a pet store that killed your fish? I never have. Uh, what makes you happy, not makes him happy. Yeah, no, nah, Joe, Joe, he just give me feedback, man. That's all. Uh, how long does it take brown java moss to adjust to a new tank? Depends on the tank. I would say, I don't know, week, not bad. Depends on how big of the swings I got. What's up from South Africa? What's up? I use sand or gravel for a plank med tank. I would use gravel in that. Sand, you get anaerobic conditions. Thoughts on making a nice, neat setup for a fish room? Uh, yeah. Make it so it's easy to do the work. That's the number one thing with fish rooms. Make it so it's easy to do the work. That's why I did these. That's why I showed you all that. That would be my number one thing. 
Uh, cool. Can uh, blue Texas cichlid live with a 15-gallon blue? Nah, I don't know about those cichlids, to be honest. How do you get rid of brown diatoms? You wait. You get, uh, you get uh, what's it called? Autosynclus. Love it. What's what's your absolute favorite crenum? I show you crenum. Uh, if I get up, I lose track of the questions. Uh, crenum crenum natans is probably my favorite. Uh, let's see here. Use vinegar rocks. Yeah. What's your experience with baby arowanas? How often should I feed my new one? Twice a day. It hasn't been eating that much. I would go outside and I would find a puddle of Nast, the nastiest ass puddle you could find, Harley, and I would get some mosquito larvae out of there because they sit and they twitch and they look crazy, and that arowana will eat the hell out of those, and that is the secret to feeding them. That is the secret. That's not easy to do. Go find a skanky puddle. Don't use a lot of it. Maybe maybe rinse them real quick. Like put them in some like scoop them in some skanky water, and then take that skanky water, put them in another tub with like some dechlor or some some chlorinated water. Excuse me, not dechlorinated, chlorinated water. And that way you're killing anything that might be on there potentially, but they'll still be alive. And then feed your arowana just like four or five of those. They'll go nuts. They, it triggers them because they twitch around like freaks. They'll love it. You're welcome. Send me a video of that. That'll be cool. Uh, sounds so mean you said fish you don't care about if they die. Oh, come on. You got some like random fry or whatever. Uh, let's see here. When you coming to Scotland, bro? I thought about doing a... Uh, good question. I thought about doing like a, a GoFundMe to go over to, to Europe actually. You know, like a couple grand or something, just to like, hey, go spread out some love in Germany and Scotland and England and all that. I don't know. I thought about doing that. It's hard though. I got kids. It's hard to travel. It's tough. You know, it takes time zones suck. Um, so it's difficult. What do you think of RO water in your tanks? Do not use RO water in your planet tanks ever. Like almost ever. Don't do it. Okay? It, it hurts them. It's not fun. Any East Coast appearances, summer or fall? I was just out of Reef Blues the last week. Cool. Uh, what fit, what are your fish are you breeding? I'm breeding the. Uh, what am I breeding? I'm breeding the libraries. Hey, Dusty, got a 55 four foot wide center brace is broken. I got a video on that. You can still make it work. What else? How do you get the most? Uh, where do you get most of your fish from? Uh, Imperial Tropicals shows. Uh, I've been to the American Library Association. Got a ton of stuff. What's the worst fish you've ever had? My buddy had a. I have a video coming out of this. A red tail catfish. Cyanobacteria and discus tank continuing to spread thoughts. It's because you don't have enough water flow, but that sucks because discus don't like a lot of water flow. I would increase your oxygen levels there, Gabe. Big time. Increase those oxygen levels big time. Uh, uh oh. Busted. You, I'm just sitting here answering questions, beautiful. I'm reading these questions and I'm talking into this microphone. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. This is Nola. Nola's Hi. busted out. Hi. All these people are asking questions here. Strong, okay, thank you. Lagging, you put the soil down, leave it kind of loose. I uh, put the soil on top. Uh, I have lots of mystery snails. I got them breeding somewhere, went Daddy, some, not sure where. What's up, baby? We're going to the, um, we're, me and Mommy are going to wash the car. You're staying okay. here, stepmom. I got it, give me a kiss. Go. Give me a kiss. Okay, have fun. Say bye. Huh? Give me a kiss. You smell good. Bye. Bye, bye sweetie. Have fun. Uh, I know I'm smell bad. Drinking coffee, answering questions. Love you, honey. Uh, I have a Phoenix 24-7 laying around where they grow medium to high-tech plant. Not in 24 inches deep, they're not. I did a webinar on uh, lighting. I need to do a lighting video, but that's coming. Ever test for calcium? I've only No, I need to get a test kit for freshwater, actually. Uh, what's the most aggressive fish you've ever kept? Uh, cichlids. Fastest growing. The, mo the most aggressive fish that I've kept consistently is an angelfish. I, I don't keep a lot of uh, African cichlids. Creeper, creeper now, way too much light for a tank, not enough plants, daughter. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Let's go, exactly, our water needs mineralized. It's great, oh yeah, all right, all right, let me back up. Yes, you can use RO water if you remineralize the water, but straight RO water, I'd rather use the stuff that RO water gets thrown away, so. All right, folks, cool. So did you have fun? Anybody learn anything? You enjoy this? I enjoyed it, I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. I'm at uh, 24. 24 is a lucky number for me, so I'm going to split. But everybody had a great one. And yeah, I'm thinking about doing that series. I'm glad I got the feedback on that. And yeah, I don't know. Everybody have an awesome freaking day. Tank on, folks. I'm out. Never trust a leaky tank. It's like a girlfriend that cheats on you. Tank on, everybody. Later.